Yo, 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 what is going on Xbox and YouTube? Now we are here to talk about Big Team Battle and my first impressions on it in the new Halo 5 Guardians game. Now, Big Team Battle is a really fun game for anybody looking to play the classic Big Team Battle game mode from any other Halo game. Well, it is the same in this game, except now brought to Halo 5 with all of the new mechanics. So, things can feel a lot different than the classic Big Team Battle that you are used to, but nonetheless, still tons of fun, and it's a totally different take on your favorite game mode. So, starting off with some of the really cool things is the fact that there are regular vehicle placements on the map. There are regular weapon placements on the map. You cannot use any of the weapons found in Warzone, unfortunately. Although, I could see them implementing that later on in the future after people have gotten their full fun of Warzone. I see them somewhat taking some custom routes and using some of those guns and future game modes and game types and new maps, potentially. But overall, Big Team Battle is tons of fun other than the fact that we only get three maps and I believe one of them is called Basin. I think this is called Basin right now. Uh, there is the new take on Headlong, which I cannot remember the name off of the top of my head. And there is a Halo 3 style Big Team Battle map that is eerily reminiscent of the map Strongholds, if you guys remember that. But overall, you seem to only get Basin and the Strongholds map and the headlong map somewhat seems to be missing for the most part. I mean, I've been playing Big Team Battle since it came out um, for about five to six hours for the past two days, and I've only gotten the map three times. So, there is something really weird going on with the Big Team Battle map rotations, but other than that, I would give Big Team Battle a solid 8 out of 10. They could give a little bit more work, or put a little bit more work into the maps, and one of the things I'm not really too happy about is the fact that they're not actually real maps. They are forged made maps, which is cool and everything. But back in the day when they said they were going to be giving us all DLC for free, I bet nobody guessed that all the DLC was probably going to be half forge made. And then a good part of that is also going to be Warzone related. So a good amount of the DLC that will be coming out in Halo 5 most likely won't be arena based that much unfortunately so that can be kind of a bummer but other than that i've been really enjoying it and i uh, really do hope you guys do too and please let me know what you guys think of big team battle and what it has to offer for you guys right now in the series but with that being said guys Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if I've opened your perspective a little bit on Big Team Battle. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Incineration Cannon in 10.